The city itself, obviously, the idea that the building and everything they're doing here, but I know a few of the boys that are already here and I, they, they, they really sold, sold it to me in terms of enjoying the rugby and that's all I want to do and that's where we want to get to. Like, after the last 18 months, how mad it's been like, I mean, we've only sat on our couches forever long and stuff like that. It's just good to be back and want to get enjoying it with a good group of lads and good set of coaching staff and stuff like that and then the city's a bonus. Funnily enough, I always like, I like the city itself, which is mad. Like the, the, I've been as a fan, what's the magic? I've been as the 18th man for Wigan and it's brilliant just being around it, being around the buzz on match day and stuff like that. That was enough to sell it and then Woodsy and they really have told me the big dream and how good it actually is and stuff like that. And then one day, strangely enough, when it was sunny in summer, I bumped into Dennis on Formby Beach and thought that was the maddest, as I was talking mid contracts and stuff like that. And he obviously, it's his job in it, and he did, he did, he did just added to what Woods had already done. He just put the, the cherry on top for me. So yeah, it was kind of easy decision. It was, was it, was it no, no if so buts or maybe's or <laughs> whatever he says, <laughs> Paddy Pimblet. <laughs> So Sandy are obviously open to play fullback, be able to settle into one position. This year has obviously been one of the wildest years of rugby I've ever had. I think I must have played 160 minutes in my own position. I've played here, there, everywhere. Jack of all trades, master of none really does. <laughs> He's tend to fit the bill with me. So yeah, I'm, it's been a mad year. I've enjoyed it. it has, it's been challenging and it'd just be good to get here and settle in, hopefully settle into one position. I'll, whether it be fullback, wing, centre, anywhere, I'll put my hand up. I'll, I play, but hopefully to get that time in just one position and kind of like build some momentum going and make that position my own. And if you ask any fullback why they tend to like fullback, it's not having to defend. But no, no, I, I'd, I'd say we're, I'd fancy my chances of a half decent defensive fullback. But um, if you, I suppose if you ask Josh or Jake Sharks, anyone that's played me, they'd probably describe me as erratic. So, <laughs> so we've got that look forward to an attack. <laughs> They've got everything from bottom up what you want to be a big successful club. So you've obviously got your scholarship, your academy. They're going to go with the reserves, which a team that can field all of them. But with obviously what's going on in academies being cut and stuff like that, to have this in what you'd be considered as a football city and other sports and stuff like that is incredible. And I think long term, they really can. They can be a sustainable club in the top flight, and I think they could be successful in the top flight. And hopefully that will be the goal. We'll, We've not had a chance to sit down and make our goal and stuff like that, but I've had Sandy for two years. So we look forward to it and then hopefully that is the end goal for us. That's what we want to be aiming for. We don't know where we stand with the RFL, whether it's promotions, relegations, all that sort of stuff, but Super League's obviously where this, this city, this team deserve to be.